口人口嘛，本来人，是吧？拉萨嘛，也就个中国人。
Oh my gosh, look at that. You don't see that every day, folks. It's a pride alliance and watching over that sleeping zebra. Now, locals say that's how they sleep in the wild, with their neck at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> how could that be comfortable? Oh man, the things you see out here. The other day I was out here and I saw... Skipper Felix? Felix, where's your boat? Well, this morning there were no limbs on that tree. And now there's 20. And all the beautiful plants here. Can I point out some of these plants to you? There's one. That's a nice one right there. Oh, heading into a hippo pool. It looks like you're in luck, folks. Locals say that when they blow bubbles like that and wiggle their ears, that's a sign of a better than a hippo. They're coming to greet us. That's that. They're coming to eat us. Ready? Uh, cover your ears. Want to scare him. That's the back of the boat. He's going to get a stern talking to. <laughs> you get it? It's the back of the boat. See, they call that. Oh my gosh, look at the front of the boat. Looks like a bunch of chimpanzees have taken it over. That one in the front there looks like a skipper. Skip, got any joke? Because the last one changed. <laughs> Oh, sorry folks, guess they're having in this company. Take a look at Tommy trying to communicate. It says, Meet Tom. Oh, I'm Carl. Alright. One other right there. They are all over the place. They got into Dr. Chinoski's butterfly collection. Yeah, he's an entomologist. It bugs me. I don't know what that is. The one on top, they call her a dead. Yeah. She's quite a pet, I understand. The butterflies, they're not what they used to be. Caterpillar. But look at the front of it. It's amazing. Colossal. The eighth wonder of the world. Get the camera ready. That's right. It's the backside of water. Oh, man. Drink it in. That's something right home about. Now, just ahead on the left. Sometimes that one takes a while. Over here on the right, though, that's limestone, and locals say a lot of people take that for granted. I know, my sentiments exactly. I could have been bolder with that, right? You know, you get a little jaded folks out here after a while, because they're not all gems. We get them on shale. But I thought that one really rocked. But hey, that's the last one I love. Four seconds. Oh, one of those. Those are hungry brown. Yeah, and how they got here from Hungary? That is beyond me. I mean, that's a fresh water bit. How does that get over an ocean? That's a boa sitting in a tree. H-I-S-S-I-S-G. First comes love, then asphyxiation. It's a very constricting relationship, don't get involved. But as we round our bed, friends, we see the red sweater I got Stephanie for Christmas. Now that, that's a rare sight. That's an African bull elephant. Yeah, have you heard of these? Because they say they're known for their large cuts. Here is an amazing memory, and I gotta tell you, man, I wish I had a memory like that. Hey, you've done it. You survived the World Baby Jello Cruise. Give yourself a round of applause. Oh, that was amazing and entertaining, and you're so handsome in a Jimmy Stewart kind of way. Thank you, thank you. My mother always said that. As we head into our dock, though, remember, keep your arms, hands, legs, and feet inside the boat. Stay on your bottom, that's where you got them. If you don't want to get anything between the boat and the dock, it's going to cause a lot of uh, steer pressure. <laughs> Punch with some old silver. You guys have a good time? So did I. Thanks for asking. Hey, if you had a good cruise, I'm Skipper Carl. And if not, uh, I'm Skipper Fury. Right. You guys have been a delight. Thanks for joining me on the cruise, folks. You can stand on up. On those on the water side, you're going to be up up by the rear of the boat. I'm sorry, I just swallowed. Those on the dock side, up up by the front of the boat. Those on the water side, don't be seduced by the dock side. <laughs>